Commencement ceremony of the School of Science and Technology at Sonoma State University. The processional will begin in just a few minutes. Please take your seats as quickly as possible. Please clear the aisles so the processional may begin. Before we begin, here are a few requests. First, regarding photographs. You are welcome to take photographs from your seat. However, please do not stand in the aisles or remain standing for long periods of time. Professional photographers will be taking two separate photographs, one each from different vantage points of every graduate as diplomas are presented. Graduates will receive emails of digital proofs and may purchase copies. Please silence your cell phones and your personal electronic devices. Please remain in your seats during the processional and recessional. You will, you will be able to meet your graduates in the Trioni Courtyard right outside the lobby after the recessional. Please do not try to stop graduates as they leave the hall. Finally, I would like to acknowledge the presence of our American Sign Language interpreters on the right side of the stage. They will be signing the entire ceremony. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin the ceremony.
welcome and please be seated. My name is Lisa Vollendorf. I am the provost of this incredible institution, and it is my true privilege to welcome you to commencement 2018. It's a, it's a beautiful day in Sonoma County, and it's a perfect day, I think this rowdy class would agree, to graduate. We are so proud at Sonoma State to see the class of 2018 in your regalia today. This is a big day for everyone who is present and for everyone who has supported you throughout the years who couldn't be with us today. It does indeed take an entire village. And as you look around, and I can see out to the back of our lawn where there are hundreds and hundreds of people here to support you, that many, many, many people have supported this class throughout their educational journeys. So students, I have one question for you to start this off. Are you ready to graduate? Yeah. Faculty and staff behind me and out on the Green Music Center lawn, are you ready for this class to graduate? Yeah. And now the most important question, are the parents, aunts, uncles, grandparents, children, cousins, friends, neighbors, and everyone else who's here and couldn't be here, are you ready for these people to graduate? <laughs> we don't get it very often here at the university, but we have consensus, so we can move on. So without further ado, it is truly my pleasure to introduce Dr. Lynn Stauffer, Dean of the School of Science and Technology at Sonoma State. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to Sonoma State University's 57th Commencement Ceremony. I am Lynn Stauffer, the Dean of the School of Science and Technology, and it is my wonderful pleasure to welcome our graduates their friends and family and everyone here today to celebrate this momentous occasion. Let's take a moment to acknowledge the Copeland Creek Brass conducted by their director, Brian Wilson, professor and chair of the Department of Music. And we are pleased to have our platform party today, amongst our platform party today, several distinguished guests. Will you please stand when your name is called and then be seated. So, Sonoma State University President Judy Sakaki. <laughs> Sonoma State University Provost Lisa Vollendorf. <laughs> California State University Trustee Larry Norton. Vice President of Student Affairs, Greg Sawyer. <laughs> Vice President for Advancement and Chief of Staff, Patty Hiramoto. <laughs> Vice President for Administration and Finance, Joyce Lopes. <laughs> Executive Director of the Green Music Center, Jacob Yarrow. Associate Vice President for Faculty Affairs, Deborah Roberts. <laughs> Dean of the School of Arts and Humanities, Thane Stearns. <laughs> Dean of the School of Business and Economics, Karen Thompson. <laughs> Faculty Chair, Carmen Works. Biology Department faculty led by Chair Richard Witkes. The, 
chemistry department faculty led by Carmen Work. Oh, I'm sorry. I said that away from the mic. That is our chemistry department, loud and proud. <laughs> our computer science department faculty led by Chair Suzanne Rivoire. Our engineering department faculty led by Chair Fareed Farmond. Geology Department faculty led by Chair Matt James. Our Kinesiology Department faculty led by Chair Stephen Winter. Mathematics. Wow. What a ratty crowd we've got here. So our mathematics and statistics department faculty led by Chair Brigitte Lama. Our nursing department faculty led by Chair Mary Ellen Wilkosh. We're going to have to help this crew out. The Physics and Astronomy Department faculty led by Chair Lynn Kaminsky. Come on, everybody. John Carlos Santa Cruz, the School of Science and Technology alumnus and SSU Alumni Association representative. Our student banner carrier, English Knowles. And our student speaker, Emma Towsley. Today is a special celebration of our graduates, and we congratulate each one of you on your incredible achievement. To all of you, welcome to your commencement. At the graduate level, there are eight master students who have been selected to graduate with honors of distinction this year. I ask that these distinguished students please stand and remain standing as their names are called and that we hold our applause until after all eight have been introduced. In biology, Jessica Barber, Dipali Vasadia, Dustin Howland, and Justine Gray. In computer and engineering science, Jimmy Lehman, and in nursing, Janet Hewitt, English Knowles, and Natalie Pope. Congratulations for your distinguished achievements and contributions. Please be seated. At the undergraduate level, the distinguished academic achievement of our students is recognized at graduation with two forms of special honors. The first is graduation with academic honors of cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude, awarded to our graduates with outstanding academic records. The second is graduation with distinction awarded by each department to graduates who have made outstanding contributions in their department and in their discipline. Undergraduates selected for graduation with academic honors and undergraduates selected for graduation with distinction are indicated in your programs. These are truly impressive contributors and achievers, most deserving of our accolades. Will our undergraduates selected for these honors please stand? Let's recognize these incredible graduates with a hearty round of applause. Please be seated. As you know, we have some incredible faculty, many are who, here on the stage today, and we select each year on our campus faculty for the Excellence in Teaching Award. The annual Excellence in Teaching Award recognizes and rewards distinction in teaching at Sonoma State University. 
Awardees are chosen for their outstanding contributions to the education of our students through classroom instruction and other activities that promote student learning. This year, we are incredibly proud that our own physics and astronomy professor, Dr. Jeremy Qualls, is the recipient of this special recognition. Please join me in recognizing Dr. Qualls. It is now my pleasure to welcome to the podium our university president, Dr. Judy Sakaki. Thank you, Dean Stouffer. Congratulations to the Sonoma State Class of 2018. You are already making history. You are members of the largest graduating class in Sonoma State history. There are 2,706 Seawolves graduating this weekend. Now, there are many reasons for this record number of graduates. We put student success, your success, as our highest priority all across campus with the support of the CSU Graduation Initiative 2025. But the primary reason why we have the most graduates this year is you. Your hard work, tenacity, and commitment to completing your degree made the difference. So who are our 2018 graduates here today? Well, the majority of you are Californians, most from Northern California. But there are also graduates from 18 other states, including Hawaii, New York, Texas, Alaska, Florida, and Kansas. And we also have graduates from many other countries, including South Africa, Indonesia, China, Japan, England, Spain, and Sri Lanka. You are as diverse in your backgrounds and experiences as you are in the degrees you work so hard to obtain in science and technology. Many of you are the first in your families to earn a college or graduate degree. Most of you have worked, either on campus or off, to finance your education. You are each unique individuals who mapped your own journey and held on to your dreams. You are passionate. You want to fight for social justice and make the world and our communities better, more fair, more inclusive, more collaborative, more open-minded. And I can say this because I've gotten to know many of you. We've walked and talked, shared meals, took selfies, and I've seen you serving our campus and community. I've seen you raising money and supporting so many great causes. Because of you, we are a more varied and caring community of people and ideas. We understand and appreciate how interconnected and interdependent we really are. As you were learning, you also taught us. We are a better university because you are here. In the midst of all the excitement that surrounds this milestone in your life, I ask you to take a moment to reflect on all that you have accomplished and how much you have grown and changed since you first arrived here at Sonoma State. Some of you came to Sonoma State as freshmen, others as transfers or graduate students. No matter what path you took, to get here or how long it took, take a moment to appreciate how far you have come and how much you have accomplished. The second thing that I ask you to do during this time of celebration is to remember to thank those who helped you. Whatever we do in life, whatever we accomplish, we do not do it alone. Some have cleared paths for you, made sacrifices, or given you a shoulder to lean on. All so you could be where you are today. It may have been a family member, partner, friend, faculty member, advisor, or a supervisor who supported or inspired you. As you celebrate your graduation and move forward, 
remember to express your heartfelt gratitude to those who have helped you to arrive at this moment. To those loved ones here today, I want to say that this is a celebration of you as well. We celebrate the years of encouragement and support you have given to these graduates. The success of our students is also due in part to your commitment to their dreams. In fact, I would now like to take a few moments and invite our graduates. Now, this is a little risky here because I see how a little bit excited you could be. But I'm going to ask you, graduates, to stand and to look up and around. See if you can spot those loved ones, those people, and acknowledge those people who helped you on your journey. Graduates, please stand. Thank you so much. Please be seated. School of Science and Technology graduates, you persevered during an especially challenging year for our campus and our community. I'm reminded of the words of one of our country's great writers, Maya Angelou. She said, and I quote, I believe that a diamond is the result of extreme pressure and time. You are all diamonds. You are true gems that withstood both pressure and time. You have what some call grit. Some of you might be familiar with this attribute. A psychologist named Angela Duckworth wrote a book about it not long ago entitled Grit. In her book, Duckworth argues that the best predictor of success is not an Ivy League education or a high IQ score, but rather a combination of passion and perseverance. Grit is stamina. Grit is sticking with your future day in and day out, not just for a week, not just for a month, but for years, and working extremely hard to make that future, your future, a reality. Grit is sometimes called by other names. Resilience is one of them. The Harvard Business Review published an article that described what researchers had discovered when they looked into the question of genuine resilience. The key to resilience, they found, is trying really hard, then stopping, recovering, and then trying again. The great basketball player Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was talking about something like grit when he said these words, quote, I think that the good and the great are only separated by the willingness to sacrifice, end quote. The willingness to sacrifice, the drive to fight for your dreams, the combination of passion and perseverance that sees you through the tough times, that resilience, that grit, is something that you have mastered in your years as students at Sonoma State. So, when you leave our campus, don't forget to take your grit with you along with your diploma, along with your ability to succeed despite any challenges, and along with all the good wishes of the entire Sonoma State community. I've often said that the beauty of our campus lies not only in the trees and our gorgeous grounds here, but also in the principles each member of our community embodies as sea wolves each day. Giving back to our community, taking responsibility for our community, and equally important, turning to one another in times of need and drawing strength from our community. Graduates, my hope for you is that you live true to yourselves as sea wolves, that you make space for true resilience and recovery whenever you face life's challenges. And most of all, that you remember the lessons of grit, that you take your passion, your compassion, your strength, your courage, and perseverance with you. 
Make your life a worthy life, a caring life, a giving life, a promising life. Continue to make a difference no matter what you do or where you go. And know that our pride, all of our pride and our joy in you and your success will never cease. We're so proud of you and all that you have accomplished. We're so happy for you and your families and friends. I cannot, we cannot wait to see what you do next. Congratulations to the School of Science and Technology class of 2018. Thank you, Dr. Sakaki. I would now like to invite our Chair of the Department of Biology, Dr. Richard Whitkiss, to the podium to introduce our student speaker. Graduates of the School of Science and Technology, you have worked long and hard to earn your degrees. And because of that, you have the right to feel very proud of your achievement. And along the way, many of you have faced unique experiences and challenges. And that will have led to, of course, many of you having compelling stories to tell. However, the dean and the chairs of the departments have chosen one to share her story, which is unique and um, compelling. I am proud that she is a biology major but she also minored in chemistry and in business administration. So please let us welcome the 2018 Science and Technology Student Commencement Speaker, Ms. Emma Towsley. goodness, as I stand up here today, I cannot help but feel full of emotion. I think I'm frankly excited I didn't trip, though, because I was expecting that. So, woo! Success there! <laughs> College has been a time for learning, making friends, losing friends, but most importantly, for growing. It's been challenging at times, but wonderful at others. We had to persevere our way through organic chemistry, genetics, physics, and all of the 8 a.m. classes. Thank God that's over. <laughs> However, we experienced the satisfaction of passing and even excelling in some of those classes. We felt the passion that our teachers had for the subjects they taught as well. Who remembers Dr. Geist's excitement over turtles? Yeah, yeah right? And Dr. Lee's passion for starfish? Yeah? yeah? We've achieved so much just by sitting here today. As a biology major, though, I'm particularly proud of the biology club <laughs> for winning this spring's Darwin Cup. Yeah! Woo! No? Biology majors? Come on! Come on! Yeah! There we go. <laughs> and I'm proud of everyone here who endured those late nights studying for organic chemistry because we never knew when Dr. Fukuda was going to give a test. A lot of late nights there. And I'm thankful to my friends who helped me succeed by forming study groups. I'm just going to take this off. Yeah. <laughs> um, sorry, my apologies. Uh, I'm thankful for my friends who helped me succeed by forming study groups and being stressed along with me before every test. I am grateful for students who saved their tests from prior semesters. You guys are the true MVPs. Thank you. <laughs> Sonoma State has given us so many opportunities to shine. I know for myself I had the opportunity to double minor. That was hard enough. So kudos to the people who double majored. You guys are amazing. Right on. Sonoma State has filled us with so many memories that are last our entire lives. We grew up from the partying freshman with an itch to socialize to the educated adults studying in the library. Some of us grew into the community we have called home. We obtained jobs here, paid rent here, and that wasn't cheap, <laughs> and learned what adulting was truly about. 
Lots of us ended up volunteering here and participated in community service projects like JUMP or different projects within sororities and fraternities. We shopped at Oliver's and enjoyed frozen yogurt. We thrived here. When I first came to college four years ago, I knew that I wanted to be a doctor. It seemed like the cards were already stacked up against me though. I started off knowing I was responsible for my own tuition and bills. I'm also the first person in my family to attend college, so yeah, to first time graduates. Whoa. I was young, scared, yet bold, and ready to take on the world, just like now. <laughs> there was one thing, however, that really set me back. I was very sick with a disease that would forever mark me. For months, I had been feeling constantly fatigued, weak, and thirsty. I had type 1 diabetes. During a brief hospital stay, I emailed my new professors that I was going to be missing classes. They responded by pushing out deadlines and letting me know what I was missing in classes. They emailed me different pages and textbooks and told me what I should take a look at. And they responded, wanting to help me continue my path towards a bachelor's degree. I was terrified of this new diagnosis, but eventually I got a grip and I realized diabetes didn't mean I was going to die. Still confused, I tried making the most of the cards I was dealt. Being in Dr. Lin's immunology class and Dr. Lair's metabolic biochemistry class helped better educate me about my disease. I kept pushing myself into the medical field and attained a job at Santa Rosa Memorial Hospital as a medical scribe and started interning at the Buck Institute in Nevada. Everything seemed to be going well but life has a funny way of pushing you down when you're up. <laughs> I was thrown another curveball towards the end of my sophomore year that I didn't expect. This curveball was now that includes me in the hashtag me too movement. I was close to letting this knock me down off my feet, but I knew I had a goal. I had a goal that I wanted to see through. When I ended up having to miss a few classes, some of my professors would, we would meet with me outside of office hours so I wouldn't fail. They helped me push through this curveball and continue my studies. Everyone has something they have to live with and deal with. Some people are undocumented and have to deal with family stresses. Some people struggle to make rent. And some people struggle to find themselves. We're all dealt cards that we don't like. This year we made it through an extra tough fall as the devastating wildfires rode through our region. There have been multiple times that I've been pushed down by life and had to make the choice to stand tall. I kept telling myself that nothing could stop me from going after my dreams. Nothing could stand in my way. I'm proud to share with you that I'm going to medical school in the fall. So good opportunity for the calf. <laughs> Thanks. And I know that each of you has your own story. So today we must pause to acknowledge and celebrate all that you've done to make the best possible play with your hand of cards. And just seriously, for a moment, pause, really reflect upon what you went through this semester and all throughout college. I mean, you've overcome so much. Everybody has so many different obstacles that we have to overcome and go through. And I'm really proud of you guys. And of course, we have different dreams. And now all of us have completed the important step of earning our bachelor's and graduate degrees on our path to fulfilling even more dreams. <laughs> we have furthered our education and by doing so, <clears throat> pardon me, we have furthered our education and by doing so have increased our knowledge. Some of us plan on going to graduate or professional school and others will utilize this knowledge to participate in the workforce. In the end, we've made it. With the help of our teachers, friends, and families, we've made it. When I first started to write this speech, I was really focused on the word commencement and was curious why we simply didn't use the word graduation. Of course, like a typical college student, I googled it. <laughs> Dictionary.com actually has a few meanings for the word, one being a ceremony and the other meaning a beginning. I started to focus on that. For a lot of us, commencement is the start of something new. It's the start of our new lives as college graduates We've lived through this transitional period of early adulthood and now are submerging ourselves into the real world. 
Commencement is about starting fresh with this new knowledge that we've obtained. So as I wrap up this speech, I wanted to remind you of what you have accomplished. I remind you that whatever cards you've been dealt, you can never come up by the choices you make. Look at where you are today. So congratulations to the class of 2018. You did it. May your new beginning be filled with happiness and science. Thank you, Emma. Class of 2018, today you celebrate an impressive accomplishment, the achievement of a master's or bachelor's degree. We commend you for all that you have attained, and we are tremendously proud of you. Your hours in the laboratory, working the, in the clinic and out in the field, building on your time in class, in tutoring, and in study groups, has prepared you to continue forward in your lives and in your careers. The perseverance, the determination, and drive that you have tapped into and channeled as a Sonoma State student will continue to serve you, your families, and your communities well. As science and technology graduates, you are prepared to become the leaders and change makers we need to advance the health and prosperity of our communities. For everyone here, you will be the doctors, the nurses, the physical therapists, and other health professionals we so very much count on when we and our loved ones are ill. You will be the scientists that guide the wise use and hopeful recovery of our Earth's valuable resources. You will be the teachers changing young lives and the computer scientists, engineers, and statisticians driving a sustainable, engaging, and very bright future for us all. On behalf of the staff and faculty of the School of Science and Technology, make today the start of your forever future. Congratulations. Will Chair Works, Drs. Suzanne Rivoir and Sam Brannan are readers, and their assistant, Maddie Mukherjee, please take your places. Will President Sakaki, Provost Volendorf, and Professor Dr. Jeremy Qualls please come forward to present the candidates for master's degrees. Uh, will all candidates for master's degrees in the School of Science and Technology please rise? <laughs> President Sakaki, on behalf of the School of Science and Technology, it is my privilege to recommend these students who are assembled before you as candidates for degrees under requirements prescribed by the trustees of California State University and by the faculty of Sonoma State University. Ushers, please guide the candidates for master degrees to the stage.
Elizabeth Freitas. Elaine Fawcett Maples. Christine Williams. Paul Williams. Victoria Ojako. Caprice Disbro. Amanda Wynn Hooper. Jessica Barber. Brennan Chin. Parminder Chatha. Tajinder Kular. Tracy Iyamu Sanusi. Amandeep Johal. Rebecca Sales. Emmeline Joyce Katsarellis. Dennis Baba. Theodore Brenton. Anna Elizabeth Donovan. Sukdeep Kaur. Yaya Abdul Kadare. Robin Balino. Anne Marie Jasinski. Abby Hatton. Anna Morenzi. English Knowles. Janet Hewitt. Janine Freeman. Raisha Patterson. Laura De La Cruz. Jacqueline Subanovich. Christina Castaneda. Alan Christensen. Christina Palladini. Natalie Salazar Pope. Whitney Salas. Jamba Tenzing. President Sakaki, I am pleased to certify that the master's degree candidates 
who very obediently remained standing that whole time, have completed the requirements established by the trustees of the California State University and the faculty of Sonoma State University for the degree of Masters of Biology, Masters of Computer and Engineering Science, and Masters of Nursing. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the California State University, I take great pleasure in conferring the appropriate degree upon each candidate who has satisfied the requirements and of granting all of you all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, graduates, masters. You may be seated. Will Professor Dr. Jeremy Qualls please come forward to present the candidates for bachelor's degrees? <laughs> okay, almost there. <clears throat> Will all candidates for bachelor's degrees in the School of Science and Technology please rise and remain standing? President Sakaki, on behalf of the School of Science and Technology, it's my privilege to recommend these students uh, who are assembled before you as candidates for degrees under requirement prescribed by the trustees of the California State University and by the faculty of Sonoma State University. You may be seated. I <laughs> know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ushers, please guide the candidates for bachelor's degrees to the stage. You get tired standing, it takes a while. Emma Towsley. Laurel Espiritu. Julie Rosen. Ziold Tufik Ayub. Daniel Thompson. Matthew Morrow. Adrian Smith. Brooke Gardner. Nicholas Anthony Giacio. Ashley Lopez. Megan Holster. Mackenzie Rocha. Cassandra Villasenor. 
Sarah Sargent. Rokina Safford. Raquel Levis. Madalena Heisler. Jillian Kimsey. Jamie Driscoll. Sarah Weed. Adriana Sigala. Erica Payer. Tyler Anthony Jones. Christopher LaBurge. Rochelle Kuntz. Shelby Duncan. Jeffrey Boer Kading. Matthew Foley. Jake Paxton. Patricia Delator. Liridona Kosovare Letty. Elizabeth Duran. Alana Muldoon. Ermelinda Avila. Faven Burhain. Sandy Yunan. Amir Arshi. Gregory Trujillo. Megumi Diane Hallberg. Jasmine Daryl Fernandez Fortuna. Taylor Leach. Jennifer Ogata. Jaylene Cardenas. Lilia Ortiz Zavala. Evangelina Avila. Jacqueline Danielle Ugiri. Janelle Marie Panelo. Cassidy Ramos. Alyssa Talent. Xavier Matthew Martin. Kiana Nicholson. Andre Kupelian. Diaja Didi Powell. Robert Adams. Marielle Scharf. Michelle Matus. Amber Robello. Sasha Diederich. 
Brenton Bishop. Thomas Wynn. Jackson Meixensperger. Colin Francescesni. Jacqueline Schmidt. Allison Lee Prunauer. Sunny J. Hutchinson. Lee Hughes. Christopher James Hall. Isaac Russo. Victoria Simino. Lucia Esterina Schaefer Tropiano. John Moyles. Jessica Hughes. Jesus Efrain Garcia. Gabriela Flores. Elijah Messenger. Riley Jones. Rachel Hatley. Madeline Mackey. Scott Mitchell. Eric Booker. Matthew Perrier. Jessica Paola Moran Valencia. Valencia. Yelba Ortiz. Nicole Cunningham. Caitlin Cropley. Mackenzie Cruz. Carlos Downey. Benjamin Richardson. Christopher Negoesco. Kevin Fan. Zachary Kurland. Ryan Brown. Shane Sylvester. Chance Hawkins. Eric Deal. Claire Schutte. Ryan Delertz. Daniel Smith. Justin Hoyer. Jordan Ashby. Chase Watson. Shay Lafever. Kevin Brooks Ganswag.
Carly Pierzina. William Don Jesperson. Brianna Pereria. Pereria. Sierra Downham. Maria Guadalupe Cavillo Ojeda. Cindy Tanaka. Jennifer Helguera. Nathaniel Magadi. Giovanni Espetia. Michael Vargas. Matthew Hutchinson. Grace Montenegro. Randy Hania. Jimmy Cow. Anya Niedzviedz. Claudia Blankmeister. Rachel Weathers. Alex Clark. Allison Ott. Reagan May Monahan. Carissa Foster. Vanessa Marie Pinella. Riley Connor Horan. Taylor Catherine Wood. Michelle Lindsay Davis. Stephanie DeGroti. Logan Graham. Cheyenne Henley. Olivia Rose Hess. Maya Jamel Wallace. Jessica Claire Aguilar. Samantha Hindle. Nicholas Juicy. Jessica Terrace. Kenna Lynn Kersavan. Tiffany Liqua. Rachel Sanders. Christina Clark. Audrey Ann Patter <clears throat> Patterson. Christine Elise Ricasa. Michael Hansen. Lance Hagee. Emma Dix. Sam Gordon.
Crystal Salas. Nazanya Barraza. Gary Klein. Miguel Rosales. Edgar Vigiales. Cody De Los Santos. Aldwin Raditya. Joshua Taylor Fonts. Corey Runke. Ruben Ventura. Saul Onofre Leon. Kyle Peel. <laughs> Tiffany Brooke Franco. Ali Nelson. Samantha Nicole Ariola. Kalia Kern. Marcus Vinicius Borges Salvador. Jory Wider. Crystal Luna. Jessica Emma Mitz. Courtney Shoda. Nadia Ramirez. Cameron Sean O'Brien Bailey. Carly Gill. Jerrica Crosby. Bernardo Guerrero. Brian Warren. Stephanie Gavami. Matthew Vor. Dominic Minasi Tapia. Brooke Roselle. Mariko Bailey Hayes. Yolanda Gelati. Caitlin Sikora. Savannah Segneri. Julian Pantano. Michael Ramage. Christian Ramirez. Jessica Rose Torres. Jasmine Glorybeth Morales. Jeremy Harmon. Mitchell Bombin. Joseph Jackson. Ashley Woods. Uh, 
Melissa Knappenberger. Samantha Steen. Michelle Soule. Gabriel Sacker. Herman Dion. Joshua Salem. Adam Inoue. Ian Hale. Taylor Arellano. Elizabeth Stelzer. Olutobi Otepola Bello. Ivan Lim. Brian Carvalera. Isaac Henry. David Smith. Jacques Laurent Beauvoir. <laughs> Rodrigo Estrella Garcia. Aaron Pineda. John Eggers. Sean Maloney. Joseph Gayagoy Jr. Michael Richard Cruz. Nilton Camacho. Rachel Langer. Yasmin Omari. Marina Virginia Fontaine. Tyler Gilliland. Andre Carballo. Enrico Molo. Nicholas Valentin Honrada. William O'Donnell the Fourth. Edwin Gibbs the second. Rachel Bever. German Reyes. Nicole Trudell. Tamara Lepori. Victoria Hortzman. Nicole Rawls. Mallory Gomez. Connie Trono. Andrea Padilla. Jessica Doritu. Tony Wynn. Tara Montana. Shizuka Sudo. Momoko Ito. Asmat Kase. Leah Caprio. Will Loveless. Rayanne Rivas. Katie Ryan. Stephanie.
Bethany Natalia Pinto Gutierrez. Amanda Young. Daniel Cabrera. Delgado Maria Janet. Stephanie Dunbar. Alan Jong. Lisbeth Soto. Karina Soto. Jessica Elizabeth Swirling. Casey Fletcher. Melanie Moretti. Matthew Kevin Weaver. Tawny Elizabeth Lee. Adriana Gascon. Madison McKenzie Clee. Sophia Isabella Giuliani. Tori Bruce. Diane Bulayle. Heidi Lynn Decker. Sajani Senana Yake. Catherine Mary Beatty Smith. Lisa Ann Wood. Samantha Mitchell. Haley Nicole Elenitsa Kappa. Shaheen Sam Eskandari. Natalie Yuan. Adam Smithson. Nathan Walker. Nolan Benedict by Uncle Stadfeld. Oliver Robbins. Kurt Granborg. John Palmer. Dulce Palacios Aristondo. Haley Gerard. Soledad Osores. Hayden Zollers. Amanda Tomasetti. Nadine Nasser. Courtney Hoffman. Cassandra Abad. Rona Jurgensen. Hassan Ali Kui Ruhean. Abdul Majad. Isaac Rodriguez. Claire Sylvia. Brittany Bober. Erica Kalistad. Ashley Dates.
Angela Eggbushlam. Yasmin Guvamian. Julie Ann Ray. Shannon Healy. Brandon Mattel. Cameron Bowen. Brooke Maradian. Desarina Bernales Mendez Stanek. Courtney Foster. Margarita Christine Rios. Jordan Patterson. Daniel Santiago. Garrett Spencer. Lucas Gonzalez. Nick Meyer. Asusena Esparza. Audrey Patterson. Haley Hodges. Rachel Bertram. Jennifer Wild. Jesse Riley. Colin Giddings. Christian J. Dizon. Nathan Klatz. Ivy Burge. Kayla Michelle Meeker. Bailey Crocker. Anthony Chewy. Juliana Aguilar. Lisa Marie Green. Claudia Elizabeth Serrano. Sounda Coslet. Ali Mariana Olea. Veronica Nabor Fernandez. Jessica Andrea Pena. Emily Sophia Clark. Kira Jane. Brooke Brannigan. Jose Limas. Jonathan Mament. Trey Roche. Alyssa Estrada. Jocelyn Ruby Betancourt. Sierra Passi. Alma Martinez Pamats. Adrian Alvarado. Patricia Sandoval. Carrie Linder.
Taylor Boren. Sarah Nicole Ormonde. Amanda Marie Hansen. Candidates for the bachelor's degrees in the School of Science and Technology, please stand. <laughs> President Sakaki, I am pleased to certify that the bachelor's degree candidates here today have completed all the requirements established by the trustees of the California State University and by the faculty of Sonoma State University for the following degrees. Applied Statistics, Biochemistry, Biology, <laughs> Chemistry, <laughs> Computer Science, <laughs> Earth Science, Electrical Engineering, <laughs> Geology, <laughs> Kinesiology, <laughs> Mathematics, <laughs> Nursing, You all could have helped him out, but you didn't. And statistics. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the California State University, I take great pleasure in conferring the appropriate degree upon each candidate who has satisfied the requirements and of granting you all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Now, to signify that the bachelor's degrees have been earned, you may now move your tassel to the left side. Congratulations, graduates. be seated. Congratulations to you all. And we know we wouldn't have got, gotten here without all of the incredible support that you have had. And in particular, from the many, many folks on this stage, will all the graduates please join me in expressing our appreciation to the faculty and staff of Sonoma State University whose hard work and dedication to help you achieve this goal.
<laughs> the love in the room here is pretty amazing. It is my great pleasure now to introduce Sky Hernandez Simar and Matt, I'm sorry, just uh, Sky Hernandez Simar, who will perform the Sonoma State University alma mater and the cope with the long, with the accompaniment of the Copeland Creek Brass, conducted by the director Brian Wilson, to perform the Sonoma State University alma mater. You will find the words in your program on page four. Our challenges we have faced and love kept us strong. So no more we celebrate how far we all have come. Though we live in different ways, we're here together on this bright day. I'd like to invite John Carlos Santa Cruz, alumni representative, to the podium. As a, proud, as a proud alumni from the School of Science and Technology, from this beautiful campus here at Sonoma State, I would like to introduce to our new graduates, to the alumni family, and recognize all of you as our new alumni, and you will be re receiving a special Seawolf pin from the Alumni Association as you exit today. Congratulations, and enjoy. Well, class of 2018, you made it through university and you made it through your commencement ceremony. Well done. I want to tell you that you have entered, those of you getting your undergraduate degree, you have entered the community of the elite. Only one in three adults in the United States has an undergraduate degree and only 9% of people in the United States have a master's degree. We hope you use your responsibility and your privilege well. We hope you make a positive impact on the world and we hope you always remember that you are part of the Seawolf community and that we know you will represent us proudly out there in the world.
there is only one thing left for you to do, which is exit this hall in an orderly fashion when I tell you to do so. This is what we call the recessional. So we will exit, and for all of our guests, please know that you can reunite with your graduates out in the courtyard and beyond. So as we start our recessional, we request that all audience members please remain in your seats until all graduates have left the hall. So we're about to begin, and I'd like to ask the platform party behind me to please rise to begin the recessional, after which the ushers will help the graduates leave. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you. 